In my search for the world's greatest pianos, I have traveled across all of America looking for the best piano to go in my recording studio, and one place that I came back to many times was the Bay Area, and I also returned to specifically San Francisco several times. And I have an exciting announcement to make. I have recently purchased a piano for my recording studio, and this piano happened to be right in Presidio Heights, which is a very exclusive area of San Francisco, where homes start at $4 million, and many people on the same street drive Bentleys and Tesla Model Xs to work every day. The home that this piano was in was actually for sale, and the piano needed to go, and uh, so it was pretty cool. Uh, many of these homes here, as you can see, are really nice. Some of them are very old. That one there's got some like old looking windows and uh, some of them are cool color. That gray is kind of interesting. And one of these homes here is a really nice blue color. I kind of like it. Um, yeah, Presidio Heights was really cool and uh, it was really fun going and seeing the piano. And as many homes do in San Francisco, the home that this piano was in had a really big staircase out front. So getting this nine foot concert grand out the front door was not easy, but it was done. And once I got it home, I began doing regulation work. I leveled all the hammers and adjusted a bunch of the keys. Some of them were double striking. Some of them, the hammers were being pinned up against the uh, strings. But one good thing about the action was it was hardly ever played. And as you can see, the back checks here and the knuckles have literally no wear on the mat whatsoever. The action was in really good condition, and when we pulled it out for the first time, we realized that there was sawdust inside the piano from when it was made. I don't think the action was ever pulled out or ever worked on during this piano's lifetime. And uh, here I am doing some regulation work and looking at hammers and seeing if they're double striking and stuff. And uh, I did my first practice on it the other night, and it was really cool. Uh, it was amazing practicing on a concert grand. Here I am looking very stoked about playing this piano. And I did practice with the fallboard off so that if I came across any problems, I could just hop in there and adjust some stuff and fix problems. And here you are going to see what piano I purchased. going to be the piano that's going to go into my recording studio. It is an almost unplayed, like new, late model Steinway & Sons from New York, and it is absolutely wonderful. When I first began my search for the world's greatest pianos, I really wouldn't have thought that I would have ended up with a Steinway & Sons piano. Right before I had began my search, I had gone to several Steinway stores, and simply, to be honest with you, the pianos that I had found didn't excite me. But the truth is, a great Steinway & Sons piano is a world-class piano, and this here is one of them. The bass is really strong, the treble is really bright and sparkly and wonderful, and now that I've worked on the action and fixed some problems, it plays great too, and it's only gonna get better. I'm really happy with my choice, and I can't believe that someone would buy a wonderful piano like this and simply not play it, but I'm honestly thankful that they didn't play it, because now it is like new for me. If you look at the inside of the piano, the bass strings are literally brand new. There's no, you know, there's no dust on them. There's nothing. The lid was closed and the piano had a cover on it for almost all of its life. And because of that, it is an excellent piano.